Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see what are algebraic and transcendental field extensions. So let us get started. Firstly, we shall define what is an algebraic element. An element alpha, which is in the field extension, right? So this is our field F and we have some extension E like this. Now we are taking an element alpha in this extension field. This element in the extension field over F is known as algebraic element. If for this element we have some non-constant polynomial in F of X, so corresponding to this we have a polynomial ring over here. In this ring, what we do? For this ring, we take some uh, non-constant polynomial P of X. Now this element over here in the extension, this is a if this is a root of some non-constant polynomial here in fx, that means p of alpha is equal to 0, in that case we say that element alpha to be an algebraic element over f. And what do, what do we mean by algebraic field extension? If suppose this is our extension and if every element here in E that is algebraic over f, that means for each element for each element alpha, we find some polynomial over here such that alpha is a root of that polynomial. In that case, we say E to be an algebraic field extension. So you see these, uh, why the name algebraic has been given to this uh, extension? It is because uh, for an element to be an algebraic element, we must find some polynomial over here in the uh, subfield of the extension field E. So that is why the name algebraic has been given to it. Moreover, let us see what are transcendental field extensions. These are the extensions which are not algebraic. So that means for uh, these uh, in these extensions we have elements for that we are not able to find such kind of polynomials whose root is alpha. So we can have an example. So here the extension R over Q. Is this a transcendental or an algebraic extension? Now this is a transcendental extension. Why? Because you see this is transcendental because you cannot adjoin some element R to it. That means R cannot be written as some element adjoint to it. This is not equal to Q because in moving from the set of uh, the field of rationals to the field of reals, in, uh, in moving from uh, this field of rationals to field of reals, we have to add to this an infinite number of irrational numbers. So, and uh, we, uh, so for example, we have some number over here, say alpha, for this number we are not able to find some polynomial in this case, therefore this uh, field extension R over Q, this is transcendental and moreover its degree is infinite because we have to add infinite number of irrational numbers in order to get uh, R from Q. Similarly, in this case, uh, where we have complex number as the field extension over the field of reals. So in this case, this is an algebraic uh, extension. Why? Because you can write C as the field R adjoined by an element I. So you can we can create this whole field of complex number using two basis elements as we have discussed in the previous video. So for for every element over here in complex number we can have a polynomial in R such that that complex number is a root of that particular polynomial. So for example for iota I have selected this polynomial such that iota is a root of this polynomial in R. So similarly for every element in C we can have we can do such kind of thing and here 
see here in this case this is also an algebraic extension because say uh, for square root of 5 we have some polynomial here whose root is square root 5 and uh, f uh, similarly for other elements which are rational numbers we obviously have uh, polynomials in Q such that they are the roots of the, those polynomials so these are the algebraic field extensions there's also a definition for minimal polynomial of uh, any element uh, u over f and uh, if you have re uh, if you remember we have also used this result in the previous video so let us see a formal definition for this minimal polynomial the minimal they are saying the minimal polynomial of u over f that is basically the monic monic means the leading coefficient of that polynomial is equal to 1 and is irreducible so the monic irreducible polynomial in the uh, this uh, polynomial ring of which u is a root that is known as the minimal polynomial of u over f Simil uh, uh, obviously this minimal polynomial would be that uh, would be the polynomial which would have the least degree of such kind so the minimal polynomial of u over f is the monic irreducible polynomial in fx of which u is a root this definition would be more clear by seeing this result so the result says that if e is any extension field of f that means we are saying E is the extension field over F and U belongs to E is an algebraic element over F that means you can have some um, polynomial in F they are saying that is Px so we have some Px in F of X be such polynomial of least degree such that U is a root of this that means we are saying uh, we are saying u to be the algebraic element so in this case the results are the corresponding polynomial the non-constant polynomial which we have picked that has to be an irreducible polynomial over f the second thing is that if you find some another polynomial in that polynomial ring such that u also satisfies that polynomial in that case the polynomial that we have selected previously of least degree it would divide some other polynomial gx and the third result says that there is exactly one monic polynomial of such kind uh, that means of least degree such that u satisfies that polynomial so from here can you see the relation of least degree is irreducible and uh, is monic and is of least degree so that is the minimal polynomial so from here the connection between them is clear so let us move on to prove this result this is quite useful result so obviously from here we know that if u is an algebraic element then then this polynomial has to be irreducible polynomial in f so let us go and see the first part uh, we have as assumptions that E is the extension field, U is the algebraic element and Px be the polynomial of least degree such that U satisfies P. So now we have to prove that Px is irreducible over F. So for that what we do, we if possible we will prove this using uh, the method of contradiction so here we have assumed this polynomial as a redu reducible polynomial over f that means we can write the polynomial px as a product of two polynomials p1 and p2x say so obviously the degree of first polynomial p1x should be less than the degree of, sec uh, of the original polynomial px and the degree of second polynomial should also be less than the degree of the original polynomial px this is by virtue of definition of reducible polynomials now u is the root of px that is given to us because u satisfies px therefore p of u is 0 that means 
P of u is zero. That means P one u into P two u is also equal to zero. That means uh, exactly one of them is equal to zero. In either case, the degree of each of these polynomials P one and P two that is less than the degree of P, and u satisfies this. So this comes out to be a contradiction because we have assumed that P x is the polynomial with least degree such that u satisfies this but here we obtain some polynomials of lesser degree than p which uh, for which u is the solution so this is a contradiction that means whatever we have considered was wrong therefore the polynomial px is irreducible polynomial uh, this was a quite simple proof so let us now move on to the second part the second part says that if you have find some other polynomial g of x such that it also satisfy it is also satisfied by u so in that case our minimal polynomial px that di should divide this po other polynomial gx so let us assume uh, that gx be some other polynomial so gx is also in fx px is also in fx moreover the degree of px is less than degree of gx because px is the minimal polynomial such that u satisfies it therefore we can apply the division algorithm onto this that means whenever you divide the polynomial gx by px you will have some kind of quotient polynomial over here and you have some kind of remainder over here so this is the division algorithm here and the conditions on the remainder is it it should either be zero or it should be some non zero polynomial where the degree of this polynomial should be less than the degree of this polynomial px so in the first uh, out of these two we uh, we can have one as true so let us see first le this case degree of rx is less than degree of px if this is the case so in uh, in that case we have this thing we can substitute u in place of x no problem in doing that yes now in the question we are given the another polynomial g that is also satisfied by u and the original polynomial of least degree that is also satisfied by u so this quantity is zero this quantity is zero so we are only left with r of u is equal to zero that means when you substitute u into rx you get zero and we also know the degree of rx is le less than degree of px again by we have a contradiction of this kind because we found one polynomial rx which is having degree less than px and it is satisfied by u so this is a contradiction to the statement that px is a polynomial of least degree such that p of u is equal to 0 therefore in this case we got a contradiction therefore this case case cannot be applied so the only case is that rx is equal to 0 if rx is equal to 0 that means we have g of x is equal to p of x into q of x and from here we clearly see that this px divides gx so second uh, part is also proved for the third part what we have to prove we have to prove there is exactly one monic polynomial of this kind so let us assume some another polynomial such that all these conditions are satisfied so let gx be that polynomial monic polynomial of least degree such that u is a root of this polynomial so from part 2 part 2 says that g uh, if you have some another polynomial such that uh, g of u is 0 then px should divide gx so that means we have this result px divides gx moreover now you are saying in uh, now we are doing what interchanging the roles of px and gx so uh, in this case we are saying gx is that minimal polynomial of least degree such that u satisfies it and px is some another polynomial so in this case we get gx divides px so from here as both are monic polynomials 
being the minimal polynomial this is given to us this is monic this is the minimal polynomial so th these both are monic polynomials hence they should be equal so we have exactly one monic polynomial of this kind of least degree such that u satisfies the polynomial so well that is it for this video i hope you understood a little about algebraic and transcendental field extensions we shall see some more properties of these extensions in the upcoming videos thank you for watching